so so bad. Away from me! <laughs> oh, shit! Yo, that's actually insane. Yo, what's going on everybody? We're back with another build video like always. This is a Twisted Puppets Crypt Blade build. It's really fun, really good. Uh, if you ever want to make a Twisted Puppets build and you have a spare Crypt Blade, make sure to try this out instead of the usual Hero Blade. It's, like I said, really, really, really good. Before we get into it, I want to say I am opening up my guild. I have a guild discord in the description and in the comments. Join up. Uh, instructions on how to get in are in there. It's uh, pretty open. We're preparing for conquest. Uh, we've been going on ganks recently. It's really fun. If you want to be an ally, also join. Let me know. If you want to be part of events, join. Let me know. And like always, build information in my Discord on this build. The link, everything, hair ID, everything is in there. Just join the Discord. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Let's get into it. All right. So for pre shrine, I went 50 fortitude, 40 strength, 55 charisma. I started with six shadow. Five flame and then once you have those stats you need at least one in heavy and one in agility then at that point put whatever stats you have left over to hit level 10 into your agility so i'm pretty sure this works on any race for example on my grimoire i had six agility plus all those other stats i mentioned before and i was able to level two level 10 now for pre-shrine the talents you're gonna want are showstopper you're gonna want the mantra reinforce and the talent grand support to go with it and 55 charisma is for chaotic charm lasting charisma and pretty much all of the charisma talents like tough love charismatic cast golden tongue but you do not need those pre-shrine you can get them post shrine but if you do see them make sure to just take them because it makes the build way easier now you can go Dazing Finisher, but personally I did not, I went Bulldozer, it is your preference. Alright, now for post shrine, you're going to be going up to 25 agility for Spine Cutter, Observation, and Safety Dance. And your strength, you're going to put up back to 30 for Bulldozer, Spine Cutter, Ash Slam, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You're going to leave your Fortitude and Charisma at 25 and 30, or whatever it puts it to, doesn't really matter. Then you're going to be going to 40 Heavy Weapon, 80 Flame Charm, and as much Shadow as you can go on your race. I went 98. Now we're going to go over Mantras. Um, Mantra selection can be up to preference for this build. But me personally, the only Shadow Mantras I wanted was Shadow Gun and Rising Shadow. You can get Shadow Eruption, but I just didn't really find a place for it. Maybe you can play, get it instead of Equalizer. This is kind of temporary. I do want I do want Relentless Flames instead of Equalizer, but I have not got to that yet. Um, but yeah, for Flame Mantras, I went Fire Blade. Very, very, very good to Faint. I'll put a clip up on screen. The Faint is just unreactable pretty much. Um, Burning Servants, very, very good with modifiers. You're going to want three Cloud, three Rush, and two Drift. I don't have that right now, but that is what you're going to want. It will be in the Discord. Shadow Gun, I have a blue gem. I'm going to put two Perfect, two Stratus on this probably, or you could do one Perfect, one Stratus with Blast Spark. Rising Shadow, you're going to want three Rush Shards. I have a blue gem. Flame Assault, you could replace this with Shadow Assault as well, or even Flame Leap. But if you go any sort of assault, you're going to put three crystal, three glass, three magnifying, and it's going to be giant. The hitbox will cover this whole alleyway. Now, I went contractor, so I have judgment. Uh, it was just kind of just to fit the style of puppets on this build. Uh, reinforce, you got this pretty shrine. Ash slam is a very, very, very good flame mantra, as you guys know. So that's about it for mantras. Next thing we're going to go over is talents. So I'm going to scroll through them real quick, and then I'll explain them after. All right, so that's all the talents. Make sure you get all these Twisted Puppets, uh, Twisted Puppet talents. They're very, very, very good. Uh, Emperor Flame as well, you need. That's why you go 80 Flame. Only Shadow talents you need, really, are Singularity, Fear, Dark God, and Dark Rift. Uh, but you need Dark Hours to get Dark Rift, so make sure to take Dark Hours. Flame talents, you're going to need Hell's Partisan, Warden Radiance, Final Act, Agitating Spark for Emperor Flame. Emperor Flame, Mirage Clone, all the Twisted Puppet stuff, and honestly, that's 
kind of it. It's not that hard to make, but you might miss some stuff, so you might have to Mystic. Now, I went Bulldozer, like I said before, you can go Dazing Finisher, it still works perfectly fine. Blood Iron Spirit, just a bunch of HP talents, um, and yeah, Showstopper, very good with heavy weapons. But overall, this build is pretty easy to make, does a lot of damage, 40 damage with 0.64 swing speed, and your monsters do a lot of damage. Now that's kind of it for this build. Like I said before, if you want to join my guild, link in the description. If you want more information on the build, link in the description. I'm going to be streaming again. I'm excited for Conquest. I'm going to make a video for all the new oaths that are about to come out. All the new weapons that are about to come out. I'm going to play some random footage I got with my friend like two days ago. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like and sub, please. I'm trying to hit 4K. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Peace.